Lesson 6.10, Regrouping with Zeros. When the menu end contains a zero in the tens place of a three-digit number, we can regroup to have more ones by first regrouping 100 as 10 tens. So remember, the top number is the menu end. We're taking away the subtrahen, and the answer is the difference. So let's see how to solve this problem. We have 304 minus 129. We start with the ones place. We have four ones and we need to take nine away, but we can't subtract nine ones until we can regroup from the tens place. But there's zero tens, we can't regroup. So we start by regrouping 100 as 10 tens. Instead of three hundreds, we have two hundreds. Instead of zero tens, we have 10 tens. Now we can regroup for the ones. We change the 10 tens to 9 tens, and we give that 10 to the ones place as 10 ones. Now, instead of 4 ones, we have 14 ones. 14 minus 9 is equal to 5. We're way up here. 9 minus 2 is 7 tens. 2 hundreds minus 100 is 100. Our difference is 175. Let's try it again with a different example. We're going to model, draw, and solve. We have 506 minus 381. We start by drawing the menu in 506. We have 500s, 0 tens, 6 ones. We subtract the ones. We have 6 ones. We need to take 1 away. Well, that's easy. That's 5. We're just taking this one away, aren't we? Now we have 0 tens and need to take 8 tens away, but we don't have any. So what we can do is we can take this hundred, move it over to the tens place as one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten tens. We took away this hundred. Now we have four hundreds. Instead of zero tens, we now have ten tens. And we can do ten minus eight. We count five, six, seven, eight. I'm gonna take these away. That leaves two tens. We need to take away three hundreds. One, two, three. That leaves one hundred. Our difference is 125. Here we have 204 minus 157. We have four ones and we need to take away seven ones, but we can't subtract seven ones until we regroup from the tens place. And we can't because there's a zero there. So we start by regrouping 100 as 10 tens. So instead of 200s, we now have 100. Instead of zero tens, we have 10 tens. Now we can regroup for the ones. We turn this into a nine tens and give it to the ones place. Now instead of four ones, we have 14 ones. 14 minus 7 is equal to 7. Now we're way up here because we crossed these out. We have 9 tens minus 5 tens is 4 tens. 100 minus 100 is 0, so we leave that blank. Our difference is 47. Here we have 108 minus 35. We can subtract the ones without needing to regroup. We have 8, we're taking away 5, that's 3. Now we have zero tens and we need to take three away. So we can cross this off and it'll become a zero. And now the tens place is 10 tens. 10 tens minus three tens is seven tens. Now we also, instead of doing this, once we subtracted and got the ones out of the way, we could have looked at this as 10 tens minus three tens is seven tens. Now our menu end has two zeros in the ones place and the tens place. We have 700 minus 589. So before we can even begin subtracting, we need to regroup 100 as 10 tens. Instead of 700s, we now have six. Instead of zero tens, we have 10 tens. Now we can do the zero minus nine, by regrouping, this becomes nine tens, and this becomes 10 ones. 10 ones minus nine ones is one one. 
9 tens minus 8 tens is 1 ten, and 6 hundreds minus 5 hundreds is 100. Our difference is 111. When we only need to regroup ones for three digit subtraction, we can combine the tens and ones digits of the minuend. We could actually solve this with mental math. We look at this as a 42 minus a 29. For 29, if we count on one more, we'll be at 30. So now we've counted on one. And if we add 12 more to 30, we'll be at 42. One plus 12 is 13. This must be 13. Now we just subtract the hundreds. 500 minus 100 is 400. We know the difference is 413. We combined these place values because 42 was great enough to take away 29 without having to regroup from the hundreds. We have a word problem that says Mr. Lee sold 138 more apples than oranges. He sold 306 apples. How many oranges did he sell? So we think 306 is 138 more than the number of oranges. And the difference between 306 and 138 is the number of oranges. So we can subtract 306 minus 138 and that'll tell us the number of oranges. We start with the ones place. We have six and we need to take eight away, but we don't have enough. And we can't regroup from the tens place because that's a zero. So we're going to regroup from the hundreds and make three hundreds into two hundreds. We're going to make zero tens into ten tens. Then we're going to help the ones out by turning this into nine tens and giving ten ones to the ones place. Now instead of six ones, we have sixteen ones. And sixteen minus eight is eight. Nine tens minus three tens is six tens and 200s minus 100 is 100, we know he sold 168 oranges. And we learned in the last video that we could check our subtraction by adding the subtrahend and the difference. If we add 168 plus our subtrahend 138, it should equal the 306 minuend we started with. 8 plus 8 is 16. We regroup a 1, put the 6 in the 1's place. 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. We regroup it, put a 0, and we have a 3. 306. That was our original minuend, so we know we did our subtraction correctly. And remember, we can turn a sheet of lined paper sideways to keep place values in their correct column. Our next lesson is going to be chapter seven, all about money. And if you like counting money, you're gonna like chapter seven. 7.1, we're gonna talk about counting dimes, nickels, and pennies for US coins. Have a wonderful day, and I hope you'll join me next time. Bye.